inside the circle, 138 pounds for the white board predictions. Got a Twitter message one day. You guys want to guess what time it's getting to be when this guy started acting like that? Is there a full moon? There's not. Got a Twitter message one day. Love your enthusiasm. Love your show. Absolutely fantastic. Want to send you a shirt. Gardner Webb. We are big fans of the Bulldogs. Love it. Ooh, they love the show. For the yep. Bulldogs there. That's right. Gardner Webb, D1. Uh, they got a guy from Nordonia heading down there. Here we go. From outside the Central District. This is the Central District. 138 pounds. The field. Herb. From Marysville. Only changing orange. <laughs> Blunchley, Blunchley, Mitchell from Lancaster, Clark, Zanesville, Amador, Hilliard Bradley, Alicardi from Westerville North, Rusis from Westerville South, McCown from Taze Valley, Todd Block from Hilliard, Darby, Foster, Big Walnut, Harris, Upper Arlington, Yost, Dublin, Kaufman, and Copas from Reynoldsburg, White the Fourth from Delaware Hayes, Flanagan from Olentangy, and Furnace from Olentangy Liberty. We have already moved out the winners. They are here. We have a hashtag, ma hashtag match that I would like to place oh, I think we a have hashtag more than one. onto. Oh, we have more you than one. Oh, oh, you think you got more than one? Oh, we got more than uh, one. Tell me the other one. We got one below Do that. Oh! And we got one above that. Oh! Got them, folks. This bottom line: 138 is a great weight class. Sean, I want great. you to tell the masses about 138. Great is a terrible word. This is like an exceptional weight class here. 138. I don't care what anybody tells you, is the best weight in Derby this year. I expect the bathrooms and the concession stands to be empty when these matches are wrestled. And if not, our district is not passionate about wrestling like these two clowns are. I like passion. But I think at the end of the day, you have a distinguished front runner with a whole host of talent. Chasing him. You know, in this weight class, like we talked about, 132, a lot of shifting. Yeah, there seems to be a large influx of talent late. We got Riley Amador coming down. We got Furnace moving up. White wrestled at 32 a little bit at the beginning of the season. Block was at 45 a little bit at the beginning of the season. I mean, for, uh, we thought Herb was going to be at 45 at the beginning of the season. I mean, they just all kind of migrated to 38, which is going to be an absolutely fabulous, fabulous weight class. Get your popcorn early. Here we go, Sean. The only one you don't have hashtag is this one. Let's start with that one then. Yeah, Walker Hurts looked great to me all season. I think this is a great uh, quarter for him. A guy who's kind of fighting the scale, really big 45 pounder. For him to have an easy day one, I think sets him up beautifully going forward. He's so a that, big 45 pounder wrestling 38, so that should tell you the kind of cut that you're saying. Oh, I think he's a big 52 pounder. Make, Boom! Make it 38. Ooh. All right. Riley Amador here. We, you know, I kept hearing this guy was going to get down to 38. I seen him rise high as 60. He wrestled 60, 160 to start the season at Old Tangy of the Lewis Center. I kept hearing he was going to get to 38. Couldn't believe he was going to get to 38. He actually did. He wrestled a lot better the second time than he did the first time. Yeah. Both of them with block. Uh, this is a great match. I think McNown is a guy that we don't see a lot anymore True. because Taze Valley is kind of out of the way. They don't go to the tournaments they used to. But this is going to be a great match. And I'm going to take Riley Amador in a match that is going to come down to the end. Oh, yeah. Riley, you're my boy. Amador. Jaguars, Hilliard Bradley. There we go. How about let you know what? Let's save this one because that is my hashtag of the hashtag century. It's a double hashtag. You can't do that. You, you can't, can't double you, hashtag. You, no, you can't. First you can't. time only. We were doing a lot of first time only today. White the fourth furnace. Go. Ooh, you know this is a tough spot, man. You know this whole bracket, the That's bottom true. here. When we look at furnace white, Yoast. Ooh, and goes block. and block. Me and Mark talk about during the year, during the season and during the years, there's people you just like. You just like talking to them. Yeah. They have great attitudes. They're just fun. They love the sport. They want to have success in it. And there couldn't be more four likable guys than these four right here. And me and Mark talk. Yes. The more people you meet in wrestling, when we get to this point, <laughs> it's tough going against people that you just like. For some reason, you know, we're just in a pickle here. And me and Mark have went over and over and over and over again, <laughs> and who we thought were going to advance out out of these four people, so. We dulled, we dulled our darts. We were like, look, I'm not picking, I'm gonna let fate take it. We dulled the darts. They're no longer going into the dartboard. They're just hitting and falling. That's bad, Sean. We will start at the bottom. Okay. I'm gonna go with Furnace. I think he uh, is just running high right now, came off that big win. Not bad, it's a good one. Whatever. Uh, I, mean, I didn't think these guys would catch it. Furnace running hot. Furnace running hot. Anyone? Good one. All one. right. And I'm throwing this up to you. I, I really don't know who wins this match. These guys wrestled once in a very epic battle, 
in the regional semifinals at uh, Double Coffin maybe a month ago. I mean, this thing had everything. Chairs, blood, bandages, uh, trainers. Do you know where Mama and Papa Yoster are from? No clue. Okay. How that fits into this, I have no idea. I'll tell idea. you exactly how that fits Whoa, into it. Oh, he, oh, he lined me up for it. I sure did set it up and knock it out He's of the park. Sean. Ty Block's mother was a year behind me at the Grove Fort Madison. And if there is any tie to Grove Fort Madison other than... Hold on. When you said tie, is it Ty Block? No, as in tie. Oh, okay. Uh, if there's any tie other than the fact that the Yosts have driven by our high school... She actually went to the high school, so I think by default, I have to go block in this one. So you're going with Ty because of the tie? Yes, exactly. Is that Exa what I'm yes, exactly. I think it has nothing to I do think with that's K. No, it's block. No, I think it's K. K. <laughs> <laughs> Siri. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, These guys need wrestlers. They do need wrestlers. The way it works is. Flanagan loss, he stays down, he wins out. White goes to the top, White the fourth. He will have Yost, Dudley Cotton, and McCown right there from Taze Valley. Sean, let's talk over here. Let's talk. Well, we go we go from like frying pan in the fryer here. Is that what we got? Yeah, boy. I mean, these are two returning district placers. Dang! I took his hungry to do something good. You know, we're going to start on the bottom. Lex. I like McNown. I think this guy's wrestling well. He, he could be an upset. Uh, I mean, he's got a really a long shot possibility here to do something really special. In the hashtag match here? Yes. The possible. Yeah, so we, we could flip that. Yeah. In the top. God, I, again, I got to go to Mark Neiman on this one. When you got to go to Mark Neiman, that's like. That's bad. That's scraping the bottom of the barrel. All right. All right. Um, White the fourth. I love the fact that he's a lineage person. I just had a. They've wrestled twice. White, then, White won it right out Riemann Invitational pretty handily. And then. Dallas comes back, beats him 2 0 on about eight minutes of ride out. Writing time. Which high school is closer to Groveport Madison? Well, Yo, Dublin Kaufman, there's your answer. Delaware. Oh, you do Dublin. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, Delaware. Okay. Uh, Dublin, Dublin Kaufman. Yo, Dublin Kaufman, I cannot believe. Here's the problem. You're going against me twice. <laughs> well, here's the problem, man. I really feel bad that I have to pick someone, or else we don't have a show. If you don't have to pick anyone, you don't have a show. We well, so, didn't say that before we started the cameras. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> this is terrible. I mean, ah. Uh, hey, you know what I love about it? Prove us wrong, baby. I, you will not find a happier person on the planet if these are reversed. You, oh, that is true. In this way, you will not find a happier person. But we're getting way yes, off the ground. Yes, here. These guys need opponents. We get them from here. Sean, let's talk. Let's go. Well, in the top here, we're going with Walker Hurt. I just think okay. he's an exceptional wrestler here. I think he just is too good for this field. I think he moves on to the final. All righty. And how about down here? In the bottom, I'm staying with the hot guy. We're okay. going with Zach Furness. All righty. Furness. Owen Sanders Liberty. That means Black going to come over here, and that's uh, Hilliard Derby, and then over here is going to be Amador, my guy, Riley, Amador, Amador. Sean, tell me about it. We'll start here in the bottom. Let's we'll go with Ty Block. I really like this guy. He's really paid his dues. Didn't get a wrestle in the off season, uh, postseason last year. He's a little bit banged up. He will take full advantage of this opportunity. All right, how about up top? Up top here, I mean, Yost has done so much heavy lifting here. I can't believe he's going to let this opportunity slip away from him from all these big wins he's had. Yost punches his ticket and gets to the shot. Punches his ticket. Okay, whatever. Amador drops down. We now have matches. Four, fifth, third, and first. Break it down to me, the 5 three, one style. We're going to have Amador getting the state alternate spot. Amador. Amador. Yost blocked ten. Or is it eight? They only wrestled eight times. It's up to ten now. <laughs> These guys can't get away from each other. Who won the last one? Uh, blocked it. Oh, then we're going to go Yost and get okay. back on track. Gotcha. Makes total sense to me. All right, how about up here? 138 here, the champion, for as well as balanced as this field is. And again, I think it's the best field we have in the uh, 
the district here. Walker Hurd just towers over this field to me. I don't expect there to be any anxious moments at all for the Monarchs, and he is just a fabulous wrestler, and I think he'll win this rather handily. Well, there you go, 138-pound Darby District. We have Hurd from Marysville as your champ, runner of Furnace from Old Change of Liberty. Third place, Yost from Dublin Kaufman with fourth place, rounding out the state qualifiers, tie block, Hilliard Darby. State alternate, Riley Amador from Hilliard Bradley, sixth place, district place winner, McCown from Taze Valley. And now you are inside the circle.